Hey everybody, Evan Donovan with News Channel 8. Want to just go over some uh, things with you about this Verizon outage that we're seeing. Verizon says that the service is back up and running. And for most of you, it is. We're hearing that uh, things are a lot better than they were just even a short time ago, even 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, but Verizon says that the service has been back on since about 3 o'clock or just before earlier this morning. Um, so I wanted to show you kind of a backup plan, how you can prevent this from happening if, uh, if and when it does happen again, because obviously the service goes down. It's just something that happens. So I want to show you uh, Wi-Fi calling. Uh, first of all, here is a, um, a look at the outage map. Uh, this is from the website downdetector.com, and you can see how it's kind of just a large red cloud over top of the Tampa Bay area. Uh, it really extends all the way down Bradenton, Sarasota, over Lakeland, even almost out to Orlando, but Orlando's not really affected. There were some, you know, yellow red clouds over there before that you could see that obviously they were having some outage issues. You get a tiny one right there in North Orlando, but for the most part, as you can tell, it's right over top of the Tampa Bay area. So uh, I have Wi-Fi calling my phone. Good morning to you, Cheryl. Uh, and uh, and so I wanted to show you guys how to turn this on because this is actually something that's good in case you're roaming. Uh, it's also good if you want to talk to people who live internationally. Sometimes that can help, um, although I would recommend using FaceTime or something like that. Uh, Becky, good to see you. Glad you're watching. Um, and so I want to show you how you turn that on. Uh, good morning to you, Michelle. Um, take a look at my phone here. This is... Uh, my second phone is my work phone. Um, and here's how you turn on Wi-Fi calling. So you go into your settings here, right? And good morning to you, Heidi. And um, scroll down on your settings and you can go down to phone, all right? And this obviously is if you have a, a, an iPhone. I don't have an Android, folks. So if you have an Android, uh, maybe I can try and find some directions for you and post them uh, underneath this post a little bit later on this morning. But for right now, let's go through it with an iPhone. So again, just back you up here, go to settings. All right, you click on settings, then you scroll down, you go to phone. And when you click on phone, you'll see right here a number of different options. And right there is Wi-Fi calling. Good morning, Bonnie and Jane. So if you click on Wi-Fi calling, um, you'll see this is the Wi-Fi calling. I already have it enabled, but if you didn't, um, you can just click that button and it'll give you this message, enable Wi-Fi calling. It'll say, uh, when you join a network, country, where the connection is made may be sent to your carrier and your cellular identity may be sent to the Wi-Fi network operator, city might be sent to the carrier. That's all, you know, just letting you know that obviously your information is going to be sent uh, to the carrier and possibly to 911 operators if you connect with them. Uh, that's a good thing. And so you'll see when you enable it, it's going to ask you to update your emergency address. This is if you are making a call over Wi-Fi to 911, which is obviously the big issue here. If you are in an emergency and you have to make a phone call, but you don't have any service, how do you do that? So the Wi-Fi calling enables you to do that, but they need to know where you are because you're not connecting through a cell phone tower. So it won't let them know where exactly you are making that phone call from in case for some reason you can't give them your address or whatever. Um, so you need to update address there. So let's take a look at how you do that. You update your emergency address, all right? And then you can see it'll pull up this little window. It should pull up this window. And then you put in like what your, you know, turn on Wi-Fi calling, you must enter the US address. And this obviously, again, is just to make sure that when you call, uh, they will know where to go, where to send the ambulance to or to the, or the police to. So this is it. You fill in your address, you know, you do that. City, Tampa, State, Florida, what your zip code is. Um, then you click the terms and conditions and then continue. And uh, and there you go. And that's how you do it. Um, again, I don't need to do it because it's already updated on my phone. But um, but that's generally... I would do that, again, just to kind of go over that really quickly for you. Go to your settings in your iPhone. Again, I'll try and get you some instructions for Androids. Um, I think I just saw a message for um, Nancy. I'm sorry, Nancy. Android users are a minority. You won't be left out. I will find out a way for you to do this. Uh, but I only have iPhones. So, um, or you could get a, Paul, a ham radio, like Paul said. You yeah, know, that's Paul's backup. That's a good one. Old school. Uh, but there's your Wi-Fi calling. Again, you just click that button, and then it's going to make you agree to do that. And then you click update your emergency address. So that Know where to go if you have an emergency.
So that's a little tip for you right there. I think that's a really helpful thing to enable Wi-Fi calling and you always have it enabled. If you don't need it, you don't need it. When your cell phone service is working, it's just gonna connect through the network so you don't need the Wi-Fi calling, but it's always good to just have it updated in the background. And technically speaking, you should update that emergency address wherever you go so that if you had to make a Wi-Fi call, it would know where you are. Obviously, that's kind of be difficult to do. You might just want to think about that if your service does go out and you do have to rely on your Wi-Fi calling. Let's say you're not at home, you're, you're traveling, you're at a friend's house, maybe update your emergency address there. But you do need to make sure that it's always updated with where you are if you are going to be using that service. Um, Monica, I'm glad you're going to be sharing that. And uh, Jesse, yeah, who, know, who says you can't learn something at 5.55 in the morning? I'm learning new things all the time at that time. Um, Denise, thanks for tuning in right there. That should teach you guys a little bit of something uh, about how to get on Wi-Fi calling. If you have any other questions, you can always shoot them over to me. I'm uh, on Twitter, at Evan Donovan, or on Facebook, at WFLA Evan. Cheryl, when will this be fixed? Verizon is saying that it is fixed. Are you still having problems? Let us know. We are hearing from some of you that uh, that your your phones are not back on. So uh, I know mine are, but I know a lot of other people aren't. So I'll try and find some Android instructions for you and post them right down here underneath here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Talk to you soon.